Greetings, everyone. Today we are watching the beautiful and pure story of Marian Makiba, born March 4th, 1932, Johannesburg, South Africa. Here is Marian Makiba performing songs in her native tongue in her native land of South Africa. Her voice is so beautiful. Let's see if she would come to America and let the rest of the world hear her sounds. Yes, this is a great idea. Harry Belafonte helped Marian Makiba immigrate to North America in the early 1960s. She shot to fame in the U.S. overnight and performed for the former U.S. President John F. Kennedy at Madison Square Garden in 1962. Did you plan on becoming the face of Africa? I kept my culture. I kept the music of my roots. Through my music, I became this voice and image of Africa and the people without even realizing. Why are your songs so political? I'm not a political singer. I don't know what the word means. People think I consciously decided to tell the world what was happening in South Africa. No, I was singing about my life, and in South Africa, we always sang about what was happening to us, especially the things that hurt us. I don't sing politics, I merely sing the truth. Everybody now admits that apartheid was wrong, and all I did was tell the people who wanted to know where I come from how we lived in South Africa. I just told the world the truth, and if the truth then becomes political, I can't do anything about that. Because of Mary Makiba's voice, the horrible and torturous things that the white South Africaners did to the native black South Africans was put on a world stage and drew attention to the torture and helped bring an end to apartheid. Yeah. 